CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure and is a device used to provide treatment for respiratory distress. To understand the CPAP system, we must first understand positive pressure. One example of positive pressure is an inflated balloon. The inflated balloon is a small space filled with lots of gas and no exit. Gases at positive pressure want to escape, which is why when you open an inflated balloon, the gas flows out. When we inhale, the lungs inflate and are at a positive pressure, similar to the balloon. When healthy lungs exhale, they stay slightly inflated with residual air, which makes it easier for them to reinflate during inhalation. This residual air is the reason why you can always blow out a little bit more even after you have exhaled. However, when the patient is under respiratory distress, the lungs struggle to stay open, making it difficult to reinflate them. By using CPAP, we can apply positive pressure to the patient's lungs and keep them slightly inflated during exhalation, like a balloon, making it easier for the patient to continue breathing. VAYU bubble CPAP, like all bubble CPAPs, maintains constant positive pressure for the patient through a column of water called the pressure generator. When the circuit is not connected to the pressure generator, the gas escapes from the open end of the tubing. But when the system is fully attached, the gas must escape by bubbling out through the water in the pressure generator, which creates the positive pressure in the lung. So what is happening inside the pressure generator? As the gas is expelled by the patient, the only exit for the gas is blocked by the water. Since the gas cannot easily escape, positive pressure builds up inside the lungs. With the building of positive pressure, the gas pushes the water down into the wand until it escapes as bubbles. These bubbles keep the pressure in the system constant. As long as there is bubbling, there is continuous positive pressure in the circuit. It is important to notice that the depth of the wand in the water influences the amount of positive pressure in the CPAP. When the wand is 4 cm in the water, the gas needs to push the water down by 4 cm as well, so the pressure is said to be 4 cm H2O. But when the wand is immersed in 10 cm of water, the gas needs to build up more positive pressure to bubble out. It will require a pressure of 10 cm H2O to press the water down far enough to let the gas escape in the form of bubbles. In other words, the more immersed the wand is, the more pressure builds up inside the lungs of the patient. To learn more about CPAP and the VAYU device, check out the links in the description of this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.